baseball is back and we're celebrating all day long. Joe Donilon is out at Cork and Cary and Bridgeport. Joe, the excitement is everywhere. Certainly is, Jim and Marie. Good to see you again. As we spent some time on the field this afternoon before the game, we got to catch up with Craig Morgan. He's a country music star and a whole lot more. And he got a chance to sing the national anthem today. So that was Craig warming up today, and as if that wasn't enough, he's doing double duty today. In addition to the anthem, he's being honored as the hero of the game. More on that in a second. Morgan served almost 10 years in the Army as an elite paratrooper. He teamed up with the CIA on a mission, ran a cover operation in Iraq. He's been in the trenches. Uh, you've heard of the seventh inning stretch. The Sox this year are going to pick a half inning during each home game to honor a member of the military. And as part of their Hero of the Game tribute, Morgan was the leadoff hitter for that tribute today. It's very exciting. Uh, I'm here representing my country, my army, uh, my friends, family, my music. Uh, I, I'm, I'm very honored to be here. Uh, but it's also a little nerve-wracking. Uh, it's the one thing as a, as a singer, and even more so as a soldier, you just do not want to mess that up. So it's a little nerve-wracking, but it's also very, uh, very exciting and very humbling. Everybody that puts on a uniform for our country is, knows that there is always the possibility that they could be placed in a position that they're asked to make a sacrifice, sometimes the ultimate sacrifice. But they're willing to do that. And I've learned that sometimes we suffer things in our lives, uh, catastrophic things, and they're not necessarily just for our own benefit. They're for the benefit of others. And that's the great thing about being in the Army. I get to be around what I believe are the greatest Americans in the world. So after his service, he turned to country music, and as you heard there, he has quite an amazing voice. He almost seems like he was built to sing country. He does it wasn't. He does it well. In fact, he had a hit called "That's What I Love About Sunday," that was Billboard's number one country song in 2005. Much to come, more to come, I should say, from here at the Sox Park area, guaranteed rate field. Detroit up one to nothing right now in the middle of the sixth. You'll hear from the new play-by-play -play voice of the Sox coming up when we see you next, Jim and Marie. Great. We will see you later. Yes. Good to know. Thanks, Thanks Joe. Joe.